turn the cab down. Up with these. Do do. Right then, what should we start with? Got an idea. Start with an arcade game. Start with Strider. Still need to one credit it. Actually, I'm going to play the alternative. Actually, play the Japanese version. Hmm. Where is it? I prefer it with the noises. Ha ha ha! Just sounds better for some reason. Or you set the controls up. Why have I got no sound? <laughs> oh yeah, there we have. Happy days. <laughs> See if I can get the trick going where you keep um keep the pods. I can remember how to do it. Right, let's go for the jump. Made it. Right, I need to get the pamphlet. I can't remember how to do it now. Keep it for the rest of the. Uh... Oh god, I can't remember how to do it. Oh, plus I haven't got the panther. Oh well. Get that then. Alright, oh, Julian, how's it going? How's you, mate? slide to him. Oh, I think I'll have a go back to gun after this, uh, he's released a beta now. Ah, oh, it's a class game Strider. It's messy. It's, it's a weird messy game that, but for some reason it works. And it, it works really well. The same guy who did this made another game called um, what you know, uh, called Osman, which is it's good as well, but it it didn't quite work as good as Strider. Osman's very messy as well, actually, but uh, I, I quite like Osman. I think it's good, but uh, it's it, it wasn't as successful as Strider, basically. Very similar mechanics, though. But instead of having a plasma sword, you basically you basically fighting them, doing their moves on them. Hopefully one day he'll come out, Mister. Come on, come down. You get the jump. Osmond's really hard as well. There's a couple of ways of going up here. I quite I do it this way, it seems to work. Come <laughs> on. 
Anyway, some of these uh, old players might actually be quite useful for this. It should give Strider a go, man. It, it is. It's hard. Like I said, if, if, if you've not really played it much, it is difficult, but it's. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it just worked this game. I, I, I don't know what. Ah. See what I mean about it being a little bit messy? Occasionally, it doesn't grab on that platform. You gotta make make sure once you actually fall off, you keep pushing up. Otherwise, it it won't it won't always jump on the platform. Like you should have grabbed on the plane then. Oh god. Oh, I can't believe you've done two twice. What the hell? Oh, I can't believe you've done two twice. Hopefully it don't knock me off again. Right, we're getting closer. One more set of bombs. And right, get out here before the bombs start dropping again. to force him off. Ah, you pay a bit of Osmond view. Yeah, this is a nice fucking game. It's really good. Hey, Jump Freak, how's it going, mate? Those tricks. Cheers for posting the, um, pan call. Get hit then. Don't have to wait for them, actually, you can just pick it off. Righty. I haven't actually checked that version on yet either. I, I just did the update now. I don't know. Is, is that like um, a newer version or is it the same, the same call? I'll have to go that after as well, won't we? I was playing that actually last night. Oh, I don't not want to get off the wall. Do you mean about Strider being a bit, it is a bit messy? Good job. I actually played this a little bit more in practice, a bit more. I should be able to do it on one credit. It's just, it's just that last end of the game. The upside down bit, gen generally. Gotta be a bit careful here because you can, you can mess this up. I might jump off here today. Come on. Oh god. That was bad. Right, let's wait for it to get a bit closer. Is 
This bit I'm kind of just going to be a little bit dodgy with that guy falling off. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> Let's do the run. I'm going to hang around for that invincibility, I think. Pretty sure it comes every time. Could be wrong, mind. Maybe I am wrong. One more. If it don't come to turn up now, we're good and going. Run across there. Definitely easy way of doing it. Run for spikes. Kaboop Jammu. Boogabik. I'm gonna go for the invincibility as well. An old bit nuts, end, didn't they? Try that again. Catch up with the dinosaur. I thought I was going to die, eh? Shall I go the bottom route? As soon as I jumped, I'd be screwed. Ah, mate, I turned around then. Oh, hang up, power up there. Maybe that isn't a good way of doing it. Oh, no, I, I. Okay, that didn't go well. I'm dead, basically. Ah, not good. Right, let's start again. That was, uh, that was a bit of a weird go. I'm about to do that um, glitch. Zone. 
Getting able to fight that guy down the bottom. Oh, okay, okay, glitch. Not possible anymore. Right, just got my energy back. Yeah, that Osman is a, it is a pretty nice game. It's way harder than Strider though. Oh. Try the slide again, let me see if I can go through and vote and hit. I think that completely wrong. Hopefully get a bit more luck this time. It's a gorilla down. Come on, do that. Now I'm in the right position. And there's one more power up. Okay. Whatever that one is, I'm not quite sure. Come on, come down. Definitely suits the mood, like if you know me. Should stay by normal jumping, I think. Oh well. Ooh, get up. Nick, quite a bit. That would have been nice if it was energy. Oh, change direction, great. Don't get hit, die. Get hit. Oh. Uh. do leave you stranded if you uh, don't get up when I'm not saying from Shrimp my head. Go 
Oh, sorry, did you force him off? Yeah, did you have uh, never go with um, Matt Rider? Said you got past the second level, that's pretty good. Matt Rider's quite tricky. <laughs> I'd uh, made that it. Um, no, it's in the Discord, though. I posted it. You can get it on GitHub. It's gone from pre-alpha to um, beta one release within like two days. Yeah, so if you have a look on the Discord, you'll see it. I posted all the files and the latest update as well. I posted that a bit earlier. I'm not going to do the silly jump into him. Let's try there, don't be so grippy. Oh, nice. You dare fight me? Oh, you should have a go with man, it's great. I'll have a go with later anyway. Bat Riders, uh, a really good game. It's amazing I got released on Mister. That's like a bit of a holy grail home release for a lot of people, that is. Try and wait for invincibility again, which I probably won't get. Okay, there's the sword. Oh well, let's just go for the two pods then. Oh, what was that? Oh, is it the woman I be? Oh, I'm getting hit quite a bit. I'm going to die now, am I? Purposely tried to go for the bottom one then, because I'm pretty sure that's NG, that's it. Yeah, okay, we're good. So, when you do it this way, you definitely get. Oh shit, I missed it. Okay, we're good. Definitely seems that the game goes a bit nuts in it. Oh, 
Well, there was a few graphic um, issues, wasn't there? A bit of graphic breakup and uh, a bit of extra slowdown stuff, so... Hopefully he'll get rid of that. He still must be getting close to a full release. Like I say, that's definitely, you know, Bat Ride is definitely a bit of a holy grail game. You need the sword to kill him. Go on, come down here so I can blow you up. Oop. Now we're probably going to get loads of drones. Yeah, which is going to make us a bit pretty hard, especially when there's loads of drones. There's drones for you and I'm screwed. Yep. Okay, now I'm, I'm in trouble. Um, okay, I'm not quite sure. Do a spit. Okay, so if I take my time... Oh shit. Right, that one's going to prove to be a bit awkward, I think. Ah. Oh. I think I get it then. I don't be any drones. Uh okay. Always with the rank at this. As soon as the rank gets up so high, you get drones. Okay, this is not working. Okay, let's go for the uh, let's go for the stupid strats. I couldn't run. <sighs> you can run, you can jump it, but it's a bit awkward. I need to learn how to run and jump. I think. Come on! Come on! Oh, great drones. Great, what am I going to do here? Dead, basically. I need to learn that run and jump. Quite a good trick, Alice, when you jump over. Some missiles. No? Okay. Oh, okay.
Let's go. Oh, wait, I do laugh up. Stay away. Great. Ah, oh, John Z. Nice. Hello. Oh, I cut out. <laughs> ah, it's the best bit of the game. Ooh, he's firing then. That's weird. That was weird. He's doing it again. Well, maybe the Japanese version fires at you. I'm sure you don't do that on the um, Western version. Stay still. Um. Go be lucky on him sometimes. Okay, come back up. Come on. Hey, bitch. Even a bean. How's it going? No, I'm skipping the Jubilee celebrations. Not my bag. I'd have one more go with this. I might, I might try the uh, when I get to that bit where the rank is up. I might try the jump, try the run and jump. <laughs> I'm okay, thanks, buddy. It's all good. And one more go. I'm sure the RNG the RNG is a little bit different on the uh the randomness basically. It's a little bit different on the Japanese version. I could be wrong. I gotta get hit by a bullet, am I? Forgot about that. You gonna fire at me? Oh well, I'm not gonna get hit by a bullet. Jump. Whee. Okay. 
Yeah, I was going to go out tonight, but um, I went to the barbecue yesterday, and um, and then in the afternoon, eh, late afternoon, I got a uh, I got a message from Ex Mosquito said um, he's on tonight now. So uh, I ended up going to the barbecue and then going to um, going to Newport then. So I did end up going out uh, last night after. It was whatever it was, he was supposed to go on a date, but uh, he didn't, so... So I did end up going out on a Friday like I normally do. <clears throat> Friday's been a bit sticky. Oh great. That's a bit nasty, eh? Come on. Oh, killed him with it. Nice. Should have posted that in a Discord review, shouldn't I? Say I'd be on. As I jump here, this thing. Right, I'm gonna have to wait till all the bombs are gone. Nah, no, I'm alright. No hangover. Had to drive, so didn't actually drink anything. I was wondering if you were still employed. <laughs> I was just thinking that now, like, do we gotta do, buddy? That's all I can say. Got that other one lined up as well, haven't you? So, uh, at least you got options. Jump on the platform. <laughs> yep. I'll oh, explain if I said just do that. You got that everyone lined up in a couple of weeks' time, is it? It's 
think of it in an official summer holiday. the outside things are hitting me all the time now. No point bringing a whip to a sword ba battle. Bring a knife to a gunfight. effects of this game actually and then when you think about it. Solid nice is cool. It's not gonna give me the swords, is it? Okay, it's not gonna give me any swords. No more. Okay, it's being tight. Do the bottom, the bottom swing now. Okay, today we're good, we're good. It does go mental in this bit. Now the rank's going to be super high. Oh, what the what the uh, you can't speak, I guess. Right, come on, give me a sword. Okay, no sword then. No sword for me.
That's that's basically the run and jump one. But it can be tricky to do. I'm no good at doing. a Japanese ROM set. Unless you get the run right on this when you when you high up on uh so many pods flying at you with this bit this it's, it's a bit hard to get through really unless the rank is low. Might be low enough now. Don't give me any pods. Thank you. It's the rank it is. When the rank goes up, you get loads of pods on this bit, which makes doing this the you know intended way really makes it really difficult. I don't want to get that. What the hell? I had three energy bars. Ah, what? I can't believe it killed me. I had three energy bars as well. Unlucky with the hits on stuff then. Come on, jump. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fight some missiles then. Fire bullets out, look. Right, nice thing in the as well. Tidy. 
I quite like the fit, fit, fit noise. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why, it just seems... I don't know, I prefer the Japanese one because of that. Fat, 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 fat. Oh, ha, ha. I prefer it with it for some reason. It just seems more authentic for some reason. <laughs> yeah, they totally took that out for the Western release, didn't they? Perhaps they had feedback that uh, players didn't like it or something. I don't know why I put my name in, because I don't want to keep it anyway, do <laughs> No, that's more grunting, that's more... There's all that going on. It's a grunting session, isn't it, basically. Women's tennis. Um, right, okay, so let's, let's play a bit of bat right, I may as well. Um, why, why can't I see it? Armored car? Why in there? Why in there? Arm police bat rider. Oh, so it's just on the bat rider. Okay, that's a good start. It's you want the B board. That's the one you want. Um, B version. That's the one is pretty much everyone plays. Yeah. No more nicker shots on BBC One. No, they got rid of that quite a few years ago. <laughs> I'm sure some of those cameramen were just uh, just perving, basically, for years and years. They probably had loads of complaints. Bat Rider. Bat Rider. Oh, I didn't have a team select. Oh, I want a team. Yeah. Oh, well. This one, this haven't got all the stuff unlocked. It's a shame. Well, I wasn't there before. Right, I also haven't set my buttons up. Hang on. Kill myself a minute. Please continue. Please continue. Please continue. This one hasn't got the stuff unlocked. Right, let's go normal mode then. I might go back to the other ROM actually because this, uh, this one ain't got the unlocks. I managed to do that then. Get the birds. There's so many secrets in this game. I'm not sure if you get extra points for doing that. So we need to figure out a new scoring um, combo. I don't know if uh, I guess somebody else to pick it this time. 
So whatever game we want to do next, we'll do that. On the escalators, you can bomb the escalators. Apparently, there's, there's um, medals on them, as you just seen. <sighs> Took on the other way. On, uh, right. Come on, blow up. See the he bought a black label now. That, that would be uh, pretty fantastic. Plus some of the other games on this core as well. I oh, can't wait for battle battle back read. Let me guess I go in. Medals are flying up. What a kick if you Have a look if one of the other ones is uh, is there another B board on you? Older version. It's the crate. Uh, no, it's got to be that one. I wonder if it's like um, an unlock. Psycho Core would be good, yeah. They made some pretty fantastic games. I say that that'll probably happen at some point. At least we're getting um, some nice cave games in that now as well, which is wicked. I think there's quite a lot of push out in there from uh, the Schwab community, in it. <laughs> to um. Get shmups out there. It's quite a lot of mysteries already though, isn't it, to be honest. Nice amount of points for that.
You basically you've got to shoot the building first, and then shoot, then shoot the sign so it falls over. And that's how you get the birds. I don't think there's any other points in the game where you can get them. I think it's just that one. My rem code would be nice as well though, wouldn't it? No! Ah, oh, I missed the medal. Balls. Oh well. Bomb left. Go to this for a bomb. Come on, helicopters blow up. Did it? Nice. Let's get rid of that side pod as soon as possible. That'll teach me. Ah, oh, but he ran me. couple lives then. Great. Great. Oh. You guys been playing anything interesting in the week? Anything new or anything? Anyone tried the uh, pan code out yet? I don't think there's anything else new on Mister this week. Could be wrong Be an extra life soon. I can't remember when the uh, what point did you need to be on to get it? Oop, nearly had it. So I got it.
I'm not gonna go for points. I'm not gonna bomb them. Oh, I got caught by bullet just as I but he uh, came out with my bomb. I'll, um, I'll answer your question on me once I've uh, lost my lives. Seems I've got a fuse in the uh, power supply. Yeah, so I can bomb the escalators for um, medals, but my medal count's not very high. Oh, I've got these helicopters though, these can sometimes be a bit dodgy. Something get even though I bombed it. Extra boss in. Nice. Level five. Gonna die again, then, I think. the bomb. Please come, ah. So what do you say? Uh, um, I don't know what fuse is in it actually. It's um, the power supply doing the mister. It's, it's like a transformer, so it, there's no fuse essentially. What's happening with us? We bought uh, new plus five. Right, what what ampage is the power supply you bought? The one I'm using at the moment is the Meanwell um, four amp 
power supply. Right, that's probably power, isn't it? So, did you get a more powerful power supply then? Got a free amp one of you. Three amps should be enough as long as you haven't got. Well, the original power supply will power one or two USB devices, won't it? So, I've got to probably say that if you're getting no usable USB, it's got to be one of two things, I suppose. It's either got to be that uh, you, you haven't got the connection going to the. You haven't got the splitter, which if you've got the splitter connected, the only other thing it could be is the power supply is not chucking out enough power. Which a preamp it should be. Yeah, free amp, that should be that should be enough power. That should be enough power for you know a couple of USBs at least. Have you got you got the splitter like me, haven't you? So um you could you could try plugging the older power supply in the USB hub and the new power supply in the Mister, and run them both at the same time, and then see if you get any USBs. Just to prove the USBs are working. You could try that. That might be yeah, definitely worth you uh, giving a go. But the same man as I got of you. They have four amp, are they? They four amp. I can't remember if they four amp. I'm sure they four amp. That's the, uh, is it the Meanwell one? Is that what the, that's the name on it? It's got like a um, black sticker with a bit of red on it. If I remember rightly. Check our splitter then, I would, if, um, if it's the same one. Just to make sure this you, you get in power to the USBs. The, the, the USBs definitely won't work without power. You won't get anything through them. Ah, oh, missed it. I'll measure keep my bombs. Gonna be dodgy them, but I think spinning round if I win. Oh, I died right at the end. Maybe the power supply you got is a little bit faulty, it's not checking out the proper voltage. Uh, the, well, the proper ampage on voltage. Oh, 
Ah. Uh, these helicopters can be a little bit tricky to kill. Here's the Meanwell one. Yeah, they're good post plays there as well. They're well recommended. Yeah, check check the... Um, yeah, I, I'd use the old power supply. Check it in the USB. Just to make sure the USBs are still working. Just in case something's gone wrong with the board. But if not, check the splitter or the um, the joiner. Is that that little, um, that little double USB thing that joins the two boards together? Maybe check that as well. Or something else. Please continue. Please continue. Please. I don't know if this still works now because I've updated the mister a couple of times. Yeah, at least if you can prove that um, the USB is still working, it's got to be, and if the power supply is working, it's got to be something to do with the splitter. Probably going to regret playing this because it's solid does it still work yeah it does they must have added whatever the um the alpha core or whatever you need well the mr core bit they must have added it into the main one it's in the switches eh you got to power the both avenue Right then, who should I have? I don't even know who's the best character on this. Switches on off, I say. Yeah, if you've got a lot of USBs plugged into it, it's um it's definitely worth upgrading. You'll find problems with the Wi-Fi and stuff. It take a while to kick in. Oh, you've moved this fine now, is it? Oh, is the on-off switch causing the issue? Was it? Ah, cool. Happy days. You should found it. You don't have any sound on this. That's the only problem. Don't want to play a game without sound. It does look nice, this game. I think it's the sound on work. Yeah, maybe the wires are gone a bit dodgy in it. Oh, you bought it too. Nice. Did you waiting to have it delivered or did you pick it up today? Yeah, the pads, the bit dough pads I got are quite nice. So, the only one I didn't like that much was the SNES one. The only one I thought was a little bit dodgy. The rest of them, really good. Maybe I just had a bad one, I don't know. Is it... Uh, is it a little bit like that one? If I hold it up, I don't know if you can see it. Is it a little bit like that one? That's the one I use when I'm playing Bullet. Oh, this game needs some sound, doesn't it? Ah, oh, it's too dark to see. Hang on. Let me uh, pause it. Got my phone. Um. 
It crashed. No. Uh, I don't know where you see it. Is it? Is it like that one? If that makes any sense. If you can see it. With the two uh, with the two analog sticks. Oh, Game Boy Color is nice. I think that's an SM30. Oh, it's hard to play games without sound, isn't it? Well, it's not hard, it's just... They're definitely better with sound, isn't it? Oh, God. That's cool with Game Boy Colors. Oh, you did a bit of the uppercut on me. It's a surprisingly nice beat map, this is. Just a computer solid. Ah, uh, the Pro Plus. <laughs> nice. I don't know which one this is. Oh shit. I'm gonna get my ass kicked as I'm looking. Uh, does it say on the back which one this is? No, it doesn't say which one it is. It doesn't say on the front either. Oh, that's a retro bit pad, that is actually, not an um, 8 bit do pad. It's probably why it doesn't say SN30. Could be why. But Gallia, Gallia said, but the uh, cane blade is kicking my ass. I knew some of the extra moves would be nice. Got him. Um, yeah, I think the Pro does have the grips on the side. As the does you uh, put your hands on. The one I got there, the retro bit one, it's, it's okay, but the analog sticks are a bit small. They're about the size of the Switch ones. So, they work all right, like, but they, because they're tiny, they're not super accurate, if you know what I mean. I may as well carry on until I die on this. It does surprisingly hold up well, this game, graphics wise. Great. I don't know how to do any of the specials in this. Gideus is quite a cool character. Exactly, in some ways you're better off with a wired one because um less input lag basically. Oh, 
Oops. Dead. Okay, let's try something else on this court. Let's see if I can find something else that works. Um, oh, hang on, I got another round. I thought I died then. Obviously not. Okay, when he does our move, you can grab him. Aha, three buttons gave it did something. Yeah, as as long as as long as that controller is reasonably low milliseconds, it should be fine. Like you want you want a controller under ten necessary, don't you? Basically, or preferably under five. I know you've got to watch some of these uh, retro controllers. Have got like thirty second, uh, thirty milliseconds, which is pretty much two frames of input lag on them. That's why I said to check that um, lag database. The one you got uh, being is five, uh, I think if I remember rightly, which is perfectly fine. My arcade stick is five. I don't notice anything on it. I wonder why this didn't do well in the arcades. I think it's like 2D beatmaps. This is probably one of the best 2D beatmaps that probably um, Sega actually did. They weren't particularly well known for good 2D beatmaps, were they? I'm being Golden Axe as well. I wonder. It's got some good characters and good moves and stuff on you. Yeah? Oh, you turn around a minute. Oh, I put auto fire on by accident. Ah. Uh. It's pretty tricky, this guy. Come on, I could do with some sound. Can you run on this? Yes, you can. Okay. So if you can get close to him. Yeah, he's ruined if he does that mid-air and he falls right near you. Maybe this just came out with a time where 2D beat him up, so I can't remember what date this, when, what year this came out. Oh, he's been tricky. Ah. Not quite fast enough to react to that. Yeah, that's the way. Dangan Fever is class, Dan Guang. Dangan's a really fun game. Right, let's have a look what else works on this uh, core. I haven't tried all the games out in this Sankor core yet, so... I'm not sure what works and what doesn't work. Let's just try some random stuff. I know um, Don Patchy works, but it doesn't have sound. Um, let's have a look. Robot's a bit of a... Odd game. Rampage Ball Tour. 
try and road rash. See if that works. That's technically not 3D, is it? <laughs> That's cool. Ah, it's unsuitable. All right, it's probably a Megan. All right, you gotta change the core to um, US. Uh, let's have a look. Let's reset that and see what happens. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, this Mr. Core is obviously it, it's it's not even an alpha really, but some some games do work on you. Yeah, the Saturn is a very lovely piece of kit. Ooh, this one's got sound as well. So there are some games apparently work really well on you, but um, it's fine to them, I suppose. I got some munchies soon, I think. We'll skip that. Well, it did look like it was working. Um, it should be working, but I haven't tried it. Well, that don't work. I've loaded an American game now, haven't I? So, um... Sega Ages stuff are really nice on the Saturn. Really nice, actually. Yeah, Pang is great, isn't it? Um, okay, let's go back. Let's change it back to Japanese because most of the games I've got on here are Japanese. Um, let's try that. I say it's not a huge amount of stuff that does work on you at the moment. I seen that owl guy streamer streaming with sound, but I don't know what version. I don't know what he must have like an updated version of this call. Oh, here we go, Sailor Moon. We got sound. Right, is this a beat map or is it a scroll along beat map? It might be a beat map actually. God, who do I go? You, you. Let's go the little one. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember his full um his full name. Was it Owl Anonymous or something like that? He calls himself. I think he might have an updated version of it because he was getting sound on some games and he's getting some games to run that I couldn't get running. That's the one. Owl Anonymous. Don't even know if this is working. <laughs> Nope, doesn't look like it's loading. It's ah, the only problem with this Saturn core. It's very hit and miss at the moment. Like I say, it was obviously not ready for release and uh, he checked it out there, didn't he? So let's try the Salamander pack. Yeah, I think he may have an updated version. I'm not sure if the uh, guy who did this has got a patron or something. Maybe he has, I don't know. I know he released this code himself because it is on it's on GitHub. True Motion the Corporation. Yeah, I watch his streams every now and then. 
Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I see his streams occasionally. Like he he does tend to do a lot of um he gets sort of a lot of uh sort of beta Mr. Calls, doesn't he? Yeah, it's not working. Right, okay, let's have a go with something that does work. Oh, I don't I don't want to play that version. It's official now, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be my um, Twitch favourite. Why didn't I get the PlayStation menu then, for some reason? Weird. Maybe i got to do a restart. I'll find out now. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I need a reboot. Oh no, I don't. It was working. Yeah, it's handy that people help you out, isn't it? Especially when you need hand just to find things. When you, especially when you're new to the mister, it's like, uh, it's a bit confusing, isn't it, at first, when you're new to the mister. Why isn't the PlayStation menu showing anymore? Why is that? They were showing. You know, the boot screen and stuff. Why is that? I'm going to do the miscellaneous stuff on. Weird. I certainly needed some help when I was setting my mister up. I just build. I think I actually come to think. I think I did watch one of his builds once. They're quite long, aren't they? Like by the hour and a half, two hours long. Yeah, I'm sure I did watch one of his builds. Right, yeah. Definitely got to go configuration on this one. And change the control to. Oh god, do I have reverse? I can't remember. The auto center, and I know they have that off. Uh, why can't I get out? Yeah, the mist was a bit confusing when it first came out, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen some of his builds. It'd be nice if we can get this game working on the Saturn. I'm starting to appreciate this game a lot more than I did when I first played it. I would say the Saturn version is a bit nicer, mate. Yeah, it could just be me, I don't know. It when his shield is down. Yeah, got it. I'll go for the easy route, I think. Yeah. I suppose that's the handy thing. I slot jumped into the mister. 
after that date all was out there. Make it a hell of a lot easier, didn't it? Yeah, it looked quite confusing back in the day. Like when I was first looking at Mister, it didn't look like an easy thing to get into. That was relatively simple, really. Isn't it? I used to watch a bit of um, Smoke Monsters streams. He used to do a lot of stuff on Mr. D. I think he was like one of the first people checking the Mr. out there to the community. I gotta admit, though, the Mr. definitely turned into a pretty amazing little project. Yeah, Smoke Monster was doing a lot of stuff with it. Yeah, I was a little bit late getting into the mist. I think I was I was debating whether to get one for seems I had all the consoles. I, I was a little bit on the fence whether I, I wanted one, but it, it was a bit hard to justify it. So I, I spent about a year before I actually got one, but I'm so glad I did. It was definitely worth taking the plunge. I like the music on this game. Really sort of tear to it. Real uh, Zoom Tata. Oh, Miss Al. Yeah, that's right, that is. So you started streaming the PlayStation Classic, didn't I? And then uh, it just got bigger for me. So the Hack Classic is still pretty, uh, a nice bit of kit, i got to be honest. There's an Emily there. Fast road stage, so.
Oh, you probably ran me. Great. I'll be faster, I think. Ooh, I might be a bit too slow there. Um, yeah, I suppose I don't need it, do I? I'm not, I haven't got that much love for the Mega Drive 2 either. I much prefer the original model. Um, it looks alright for what it is, though, but it doesn't seem to have many games on it this time, though. Unless there's a load of stuff they haven't announced yet. I haven't seen the full stream on it. At least they're putting some Mega CD games on it, and there's some pretty nice ones on it. Oh, that's cool. You found out about Mr. Year. <laughs> All right, that's how you come across my channel, is it? The, fan, the Kirby review. That's, that's quite cool, the Famicom Kirby. Really like that game. Yeah, that's true, that is. If you are right in the edge of uh, retro gaming. Yeah, police notes uh, be quite nice. Oh, there is 50, is it? I've only seen the um, the minute odd preview where they show about ten games. It depends if if it's got some if it's got some good Mega CD games and stuff on there. It's probably well worth it. But yeah, it, just being a Mega Drive two doesn't really sort of excite me to be honest. They've gone a bit crazy with the add-ons as well, haven't they? With the look of it. I hate these to these levels. Yeah, I'm going to end up losing all my bloody um, energy just to these levels. <sighs> ah, that was crap. I hate the tunnel levels. I just turned up on the feed today. We're right for the boss as well. Yeah, they, they're on it. The, they're doing um, a, a version of Fantasy Zone, isn't they? It looks like they're converting the arcade to the Mega Drive. That's quite nice. That's a really nice addition to it, isn't it? Um, yeah, you got still there's some nice Mega CD games on there, mind. I wonder if, uh, obviously being a Japanese release, I wonder if you'll you'll get like the other one, you'll get the um, Japanese and the English releases both on there. That's that ideally what you want, isn't it? I'd love to look a bit, little bit more into it. You know, it it looks funky for a mini, you know. No, they had Tetris, didn't they, on the other one, and then they did Darius. So that I don't think there is anything else that's unreleased. I tell you what, that would be um, that would be a bit of a thing. I think if they put Snatcher on there, the English version of Snatcher, I think people would buy that. I think loads of people would pick that up if that was the case. They'd be missing a trick if they didn't put Snatcher on there, wouldn't they? To be honest. One more go and I'll go and grab a sandwich. I'd have to see what games they released on. I, I didn't actually buy the Mega Drive Mini. I bought all the other bloody minis, just not the Mega Drive one. I had um, Mega SG at the time, so it's just like I didn't need one, so I didn't bother buying it.
Yeah, I think I I think that would sell crazy if they put the English version of Snatcher on it. Because that's that's so expensive if you want to try and play it. And the Mega CD is the only official translation of that game. I've got the Saturn version of Peace Notes, the, the uh, translated version. I'm, I've never played it though. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, Peace Notes was like Saturn and PlayStation, I think, is it? Oh, I'm free you. Nice. a good arcade game which uh, has never been released on anything and it was on the 3DO2 system as um, Polystars it's a pretty nice game as well you can play it on main but it doesn't work that great it's playing there Mikado it's a 3D shmup it is but it, it's pretty nice There's so many arcade games out there that never got home releases. I'm sure there was one or two other games on the 3DO2 as well. Good I just crashed into a wall. No worries. Lots of bullets for crashing the wall. Yep, just hit the bullets though. Oh, you just started it. Any good? Right, okay. I've never I've never finished Snatch it either. I should uh, I should finish that really. I was quite enjoying Snatcher what I played with it. I gotta save on my PC. It's playing in the Mega Drive M the we've got the Mega Drive emulator. I hear tunnel levels. Levels are so annoying, the tunnel ones. Great, I'm screwed now. Oh, I hate these tunnel levels. I'm sure it's easier to see them on the sun. Is that a, obviously a translated version you're playing in? Fail twice now. Right, as soon as this cider's over, I'll go and grab something to eat and another cider. I'm not doing great in this site.
Uh, oh yeah, they might be on actually. Yeah, you might be right. I think they're on. Oh shit, they are, yeah. Good spot in. I didn't even notice him. Play Havoc with you two today, Scout Knight. Is that any better? Yeah, Astro City Minis are soon as well, eh? So just, just over a month. A month and a three weeks or something. I've got it pre-ordered, do I get it? That's the question. It would be quite nice to have the vertical one to go with my other one. Ah, it seems a little bit slower. I, I might dab it on you. On the, um, on the satin call. Might put the transitive run on you. What's the, what's the story like compared to Snatcher? Like, so, you know, for what you've played of it. That's just quite funky because it's a bit like Blade Runner, isn't it, basically? This was the only problem I'm not really into the those comic type games, if you know what I mean. There's one on the PS4 I need, I need to finish called uh, 13 Sentinels. That's really nice. I need to go back there. Maybe I should do that when I'm off. Go back and uh, finish that game. That's like digital comic type thing with um, a strategy game. And the story, the story's good. Two hours in, you. Right. Okay, that sounds okay. You have to let it snow like after you play it for a bit longer. Yeah, that's 13 Sentinels. It's um, a vanilla way game. It looks lovely, and the, the story's good. It's like a futuristic thing. But there's like three different modes. There's like. Um, Literally a bit where you're running around, and then there's a, a story mode, and there's a strategy bit where you sort of unlocks the more you get into it. But there's like 13 different characters you've got to um, you've got to run for these stories. They're all sort of interlocked to each other. It's good. I, I've played it for quite a few hours actually. It, it is good. I just need to go back and finish it. That's like a futuristic story about like these big sentinel robot things turning up and these aliens turning up. And 
people in like Tokyo. Funny enough. And uh, there's like a bit of a time travel thing going on as well. Well, not time travel, but like a future. Well, I suppose there is a bit of time travel going on. Oh, why did I stay there for those bullets? Would you recommend Snatcher to play through that? Yeah, ST Snatcher looks good. Even in retro, how's it going? There's, um... Oh, but there's a woman called Anne Kay who streams on um, Twitch and uh, she plays a lot of PC88 games and stuff and um, she played through that. I was watching her play in it for a while. It looks good. I've got it on my... It's on my image for the MSX. Translated one. It was chargeable, wasn't it? Wasn't the guy charging something like $25 or something for the translation? It wasn't a free translation, if you know what I mean. Or $15 or something. Something along our lines. Damn, I got caught up. Yeah, I've, I've never played through a visual novel either. I, I was enjoying it when I played it as well. I, I found the Halo 5 campaign. The first, like, five levels were a bit crappy. And then I found it got a lot better towards the end. I was playing through it in co-op and um, in the end, Halo 5, I did actually enjoy it, but the first couple of levels were not that great. Right, here we go. I hate tunnel levels. I haven't got it load so far, so that's good. Hey, oh, first hit. Oh, I can't be far off the end now. Okay, that was better. Maybe I should do that as well, start Snatcher back again, carry on the way my save was. How long did it take you to finish Snatcher, out of interest? Is it a long game, or...? So I'm sure I've played it for I've played it for 
maybe three, four hours, maybe a bit more. Yeah, I know what you mean about those robot things. I prefer the more sort of the, the traditional enemies. I think probably if you're going to play Cyberpunk, now is probably the time to play it. I could do, yeah. The only problem I would say is uh, I'm pretty, pretty dyslexic when it comes to buddy words and shit. And uh, playing uh, Snatcher is uh, can be a little bit awkward. I gotta write everything down or take pictures of it so I remember it. That's the only thing it does put me off streaming it, if you know what I mean. That one in lovely blocks. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember how far I got into it. I got reasonably far into it, I think, and then I started looking in the computer to see what was in there, and there's like, they shed loads of stuff in that computer. There's information on what's everything. Took not so many hours to destroy. <laughs> it's got a weird statement. The end man getting battery moving, uh, manipulated, and also find the speed the big laser again. Nice. Blast for explosions filled the factory, resulting in further big explosions. <laughs> The Saturn version's got a whole new uh, set of five levels. I think I streamed it one night as well. Yeah, I I never liked Splinter Cell. I'm not really into sneaking games, really, to be honest. So it was never really my bag. But does that does that give you upgraded um, resolution and stuff and frame rate on the backwards compat? Because that would probably be quite nice if it did. Yeah, I remember the Sprint itself was quite a big thing at the time, wasn't it? But uh, it wasn't really in my bag. Like, I enjoyed the Metal Gear Solid games, and they're, they're sneaking games, aren't they, essentially? But I sort of put up with them. Oh, you don't get no FPS, do you? I used to get the high res, though, which is quite nice. Okay, move. Oh, I crashed it. Have a quick look a minute on the Saturn core. Do they have um I'm sure I've got police notes on you? At least I think I put it on you. Or didn't I? No, I couldn't have. 
I thought I put it on you. I have got the image of it somewhere. I'm sure it's on my PC. Yeah, I, 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 I remember like, like my mates were loving it at the time as well, but I, I never really got into it. Yeah, I've been buying quite a few of you. Nice. That is the good thing about Xbox, that um, they've kept, you know, there's a lot of games on their older consoles work. That is pretty nice. Pity a lot of the um, shmups and that are not supported, though. The Japanese ones. You know, on the back compact list. Where the hell's my PlayStation menu's gone? Oh, well. Um... Could try Pepsi Man again. I wouldn't mind going for that at some point. Pepsi Man. Might be a bit frustrating. <laughs> That's quite nice. Mad Stalker, the um, the PlayStation version. It's, it's a full 3D one, but it does play quite nice and there's extra moves in there. Yeah, there's still quite a lot of nice games on the 360. I was tempted to buy um, Daytona the other day. I got my Japanese 360 set back. I had the Daytona's there. I was like, oh, do I get Daytona? I might end up picking it up at some point. The 360 version of Daytona is pretty good. Yeah, the Suda 51 game. I'm sure I've got I'm sure I've got an original copy Japanese one of the Suda 51 games. Yeah, Shadow of the Damned is one of these as well, yeah. I I remember Shadow of the Damned being I liked the look of it at the time, but I, I didn't play it for very long. Oh, I come out on PS3 as well, do Nice. Yeah, this is like a 3D update to the original 2D version. Yeah, he did. I'm pretty sure Lollipop Chainsaws it is. And... I'm sure I got one of the Japanese 360 games. I can't remember which one I've got, though. I think he did Lollipop Chainsaw, anyway. Right. It was five minutes or so, guys. I'm just going to grab a sandwich quickly and then uh, we'll have a go with this. I think it has, actually. Right, back in a moment.
come back. It took a little bit longer than I thought. What have I missed? Alright, that's it. Let's go. Hmm. Ah, oh, got some food. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I was the same as Sin Moya. It's okay, innit? It looks well made, it's just I wasn't into it either. We can have a go some cave games a bit later on, after you have a quick go on this. Oh, so the default's too easy. Um, level four. Need to go back to it. Yeah, see me over sin by it. about game or anything. No, I've only played um, uh, PCM later a bit. Not finished it or anything. I do need to go through it. I could do. I could play Snatcher and go through it. Yeah, that's why I said to Bean, give it a try and see what you think. And see if you like it or not. Right, so punch. Slide. Um... It's a little bit different to the original, it says. I do like the PlayStation 1 as well, mate. It's, it's got some nice... Uh, Got loads of moves on you. I can't remember half the moves on you. Right, so it's down. It's got a button to do the moves as well. Come on, how would you do it normally? I think the best version of this game is the Mega Drive version. Ah, she could boost in mid air as well. Okay, that's cool. Right, so basically, so tap forward, fireball. Yeah, the score does get a bit mad, doesn't it? I think it 
too much energy. Trying to think about the moves are. Right, so you're going to hold. You win something again. Um, lost fireball. Yeah, you could juggle him. Oh, I can't remember how to block now either. Now I can't remember the block, but the blocking's different on this version. Not auto block, is it? Or is it auto block? Yeah, it's auto block. Okay. okay. Coming out with Mister at some point, didn't it? Yeah, that one's a lot easier than the original version. Um, I haven't got Rocky and Pocky yet. Sorry, eating my mouthful. Um, I do want to pick it up though. I might get it on PD because it's, it's out on the 24th year. Because it's, it's uh, 4,100 yen in it in uh, Japan at the moment. So it's going to cost me, well, 40, 40, by the time you buy a points card, 42 quid. Double jump, either. Ah, you got a boost jump. Well, I think I prefer the, the controls on the magnet one. Yeah, I do want to get Rocky and Park. It is pretty nice. That Snow Brothers remake looks rather nice, doesn't it? When when's uh, when's Apple Street coming out? Do you want overdrive? What else I do? That would be nice to get it on Mister if that ever come out. Right. 
It's quite cool, you can juggle up, mate. Ah, the controls are weird. I do like Snow Brothers. Thank for DLC, is it? Oh, I don't come with a remix, is it? I like Tumble Bob. I've had the arcade board for that twice. That's a pretty nice game, Ash. Hmm, I wasn't digging the way I was playing then. Um. A yeah, single screen game with Hoover. You've got the guys got Hoovers. It's quite nice because you can jump up and down the platforms as well. Mitsubishi Classics. Or Nits and Booty. Um, what else we got in here? I've got police notes on here, actually. Go down in the sun. Must be on the PlayStation. Pop and pop. What is that? Hmm, sounds nice, that does. It sounds very nice. It's just like, um, as a ball. <laughs> you play this once, you might have. Play Kiki. I'm sure you paid this one. <laughs> That's the way. Maybe I haven't played this. Um, can you... Oh, you can't check it up here, okay. I'll play this game. Ready, go. Got a light gun. Well, I've tried the um. A Sindin like gun. I was going to review it, but um, got to be honest, I didn't really have anything good to say about it, so I didn't bother. Just to give the guy a chance to sort it out, but um, yeah, that's a nightmare that thing is to get working.
This is alright. I would have found, like, get rid of all the same colour. Even does, how's it going? Ready, go. I don't think I played that one while I shoot out. Now we got a boss. Might have killed me then. Um. What am in trouble? Bad move, it? Ah. Didn't do our fast stuff. I wonder if this was an arcade game. Obviously, like a different play on Bubble Bobble, isn't it? Basically, not Bubble Bobble, uh, Puzzle Bobble. Um. Oh, you can't just shoot them off the side. I wonder if that makes it go down quicker, though, if you miss. Yeah, so like a reverse sort of version. Try again. Gotta be quicker, I think. I'm taking too long. I think that's the problem. Let's 
quite tricky to get this boss. long again. Definitely not fast enough. Speed you up if you do that. Um, oh, I didn't pop the one on the top. Shouldn't have done that actually. Um, oh God. I wonder what that arrow does. Ready, yeah, I wonder if this was an arcade game. It seems pretty good. Not quite puzzle bobble like, but. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the William Tell arrow. I'm probably he's not a big apple. I gotta do his boss. I must be thinking of this wrong or something. I'm obviously doing something wrong. Okay. 
Got him. Oh no, I'm. <laughs> oh god, that was just E. How many levels have we got then? Let's go see. Um, that over there. So, alien to peer. That's not um, Cosmo Gan the Puzz. Cosmo Gan the Puzzle, is it? Is it a little bit like, um, like Space Invaders, sort of? So that's quite a nice game, I like that. It's got a good version on the SNES as well. What's the only game I think you can play, like, Whack-A-Mole on? Come on, give me some, uh... I'm right at the end, then. What's that, Cosmo again? Ready, go. Yeah, I got a Super Famicom card to it as well. No, I didn't see it. Mother's watching it. What five games would I have? Hmm. I don't know. I'd have to have a think about that one. Yeah, Pocky Rocky's worth a fortune now, isn't it? Right, okay, so blank, blank, uh, loons, though. How do I get rid of them? Ah, right, okay, you've got a pop. I'd have Cosmo Gun the puzzle. That, that's, that's a cool game. I've got actually. I don't know, I don't know. I'd have uh, Ninja Warriors, definitely. Ninja Warriors, returns. That'd be a, that would be a definite in there. Oh, I got a 
watch that, that speeded up. Now how the hell am I going to do it? Ah, oh, no, he fell off! Definitely Ninja Warriors again. Ready, go. I got quite a few um, Super Fun Con cards. Nothing that's worth like a fortune or anything, like that. Definitely not fast enough on this. Maybe they turned to quit now, was yeah. I got a copy of that as well. Finn B's quite nice in the SNES, that'd be worth having. And you know how much I love um, the bell power up system. Ready, go. I'm really fond of it, like. Probably a Higane. That'd be quite a nice one to have. Not really play that game properly, but pretty sweet to have the card of it. This one's really difficult. level now. I 
think I'm just not playing fast enough. I think that's probably what's going on. Oh, and crap. One of the other. a bit more. What am I going to do with that? I'm going to just have to do that. Um. Okay, that was quite nice. Give me a green. Come on. I want really badly wanted a green then. Yeah, the caravan games and the PC engine would be nice. One more. Yeah, Agane is supposed to be really hard. Ready, go. I have won CC projects before. I like projects as well, it's good. This one a little bit too long, haven't I? Oh, come on. If you stand a chance of doing this one. Those clone ever drives these days. They're probably quite cheap, I expect. I guess I got a Dodger. A little bit delay sometimes. Um. 
I'm gonna put it there. Five lane. Oh, this is pretty reasonable. Twenty quid. That's that's really cheap for a plug-in um, RGB adapter. That is a cheap solution. I want to try this level again now. Try to and see if there's any, uh, any differences between them. Oh, you guess a little ghost. That's cool. That is a pretty uh, cheap uh, RGB solution. The Chinese doing any of the FPGAs uh, add-ons? Are they doing uh, cheap versions of them? Probably not. some brown ones. I might have made a mistake. Face, chicken arrows at me. Oh, it's a, not a bad little puzzle game, is it? Um. 
on, stop playing fair. There you go. Did you buy two of those PC Engine plugins? That's a pretty good 30 quid. It's um, pop and pop. No, I've never seen this one before. I'll try and do this, boss. Seems pretty decent. So you, if you pop a balloon on him, then it sort of pauses him. I didn't realise, you know, Pang, it's not an original idea. Hudson Soft came up with the idea. Just thinking in my head, then. Um, yeah, the original Pang, uh, there's, there's a game on the. I think it's on the Spectrum. It's pretty much Pang. It was an arcade game, was it? That's cool. Didn't know her. Go! Oh. That's cool, it's an arcade game I didn't know about. Answer that question, then you can get shot. Yeah, they did do Pang, but there's, um, I found out there was a Kim Justice video showing a Hudson Soft game back on the Spectrum days, and it's pretty much Pang. It's not called Pang, though, I think, I think it's called, like, um, Bubble Pop or something like that. But it's pretty much Pang. Ready, go. I didn't know till the other week, like, I was watching this video, I was like, what the hell? I can see us coming uh, a little bit addictive when you start playing it. Oh, I should have doubled it across there, shouldn't I? Okay. 
I should not have it. Yeah, there's an old. It's, I think it's like Bubble Pop or something. Ready? Go! He showed on one of his videos a couple of weeks ago. So I always thought it was an original Mitchell idea, but it isn't. Mitchell May either came up with the same idea or they seen that and, uh, and made an arcade game called it bang. S something like that. I'm not sure if it was exactly called Bubble Pop, but it's something along that idea, that line. I can't remember the exact name of it. I know, sorry. I do end up doing that all the time without realising. Try something else. That's quite good. I quite like that. Approaching the horned owl. Okay, don't know what that is. <laughs> no. I have met him a couple of times. Is she, she, sorry, I keep getting it wrong. She's a big girl, put it that way. Really big, I wasn't expecting it. Seems nice though. I can't believe, um... He's ever half died, man. Didn't look that old, either. Calling C-7 and 4-5. Prepare to launch from Hangar 4 with C-2 armor. Roger, roger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um... A girlfriend get it right now I don't know I don't think it was I'm really surprised with that he looked oh she sorry I'm getting up again she looked like probably about about 50 maybe but Romeo to control tower uploading data to 3 7 and 4 5 I'm sending you updated strategic data I don't think it was COVID She's got an interest in it, too. Roger! 3, 7, 4, 5, prepare for takeoff. Ready! Power on! They're having way too what much is fun this? down there. We'll take care of that.
Right, what is this game? Right, it's got a two player option, whatever it is. Hero or Nash? Nash has got a city chain, let's go for Hero. Hero keep it cool. Okay. Alright, Betty, how's you? It's a light gun game, is it? Oh, why? Romeo calling 37 and 4 by. Metallica is setting off bombs in the shopping district. Reload, South reload, block sector reload. 3 and 4 moving north. Reload, we'll reload. Oh, reload. Reload. Roger. Oh, okay. There they are. Yeah, let's get them. Reload, 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 reload. Reload, reload. Gun, you'll be all right. Watch out, civilians. Reload, reload. This has got a button for reload. Loads we had, but it flicks to the side of the screen. Reload, reload. A metallic unit is heading toward the Metro Highway in South Block Sector One. Roger, on our way. Uh. Look, there's a ton of them. Gotcha. At least it highlights the one that's got a fire. Never played this before. Not super excited, not given that. Eight percent. Come to the bridge that connects downtown and uptown. Don't damage it. Easy for you to say. Silver fire. Reload, reload. Oh. Ah. Yes, okay. Um, no, not really. I was going to let somebody else uh, basically come up the high school game. Maybe decide on the um, on the Discord which one you want to play, and we'll go with that.
That would be cool. Sounds like Crackdown, though. There's bombs in the mall. Oh, you can get this with a gun, can you? Yeah, right, okay. No, it's, it's okay. What options we got for playing with... Um... Oh, not much. Right, okay, well, I'll have to shoot. That's cool, this is gonna do your buttons. Oh, that can that's a, that could be a problem. I can't do a play too. Well okay. Let's try with this controls and see what happens. Oh, Metallica, they kick it. Oh, I need Metallica. Always causing trouble. First of us, MP3s. Now oh, they're setting off bombs in the mall. There they are. Yeah, let's get them. Reload. Why are Metallica in this game? <laughs> we should stick to what they're good at music. That's it. Hard to work on a uh, pad, on a stick. A Metallica unit is heading toward the Metro Highway in South Block Sector One. <sighs> they got more people in the back. Look, there's a ton of them. Gotcha. I'd go right in the gun. Oh, House of the Dead. Oh, Time Crisis. We got charge shots, right? Reload. Oh, right. Okay, you can do them all in one goal. That's what it's thought it does. Shot me as well. Sorry. Reload. 
hard not to get hit by them things. Come to the bridge that connects downtown and uptown. Don't damage it. Easy for you to say. I don't know. It'd be better if it was. Yeah, shoot games are not too bad to remote. I've got three grenades left. Calling three, seven, and four, five. Getting strong readings on the Metro Highway. Looks like a lot of them. And you've got more coming from downtown, too. Good. Sounds like one stop shopping. Reload. He said things don't take too many shots. Missiles are quite hard to get. Watch out on your right flank. Reload. Reload. I use my bomb then. You got four percent health. Romeo, pinpointed the source of enemy communication. Must be the leader. Great job. Kate. Reload. Reload. No, it started moving. It's heading right for you at high speed. You do. Do you find any more information out about um, Demon Front? Do you look it up? It's definitely worth a play, Demon Front. It's really good. Yeah, that's okay. Not anything special. Might be worth going through at some point. We're awkward with a stick, though. Um, reloaded, remember? What the hell is that? Give out a go. Yeah, maybe a bit cheating, I don't know. It's still not super easy with mouse. Sugar and rockets. Moo moo. Oh, this is um, Jumpy Flash, isn't it? It's the American version of it, is it? This is the one I couldn't work out what the hell you do on it. Yeah, yeah. I know it is. I'll tell you what, now I've got this in my head. Let's do it. I was thinking about this earlier. Gunners Evan, that, that's a brilliant game, Iris. I think I might need a pad for that, unless I get the button set up correct on it. I could get back into it. I used to really like that game. It's got six levels, I think. Well, it's not worked anyway. Okay, we got no. Uh, they got no screen. Yeah, said the Mister. Oh, okay, that's not good. I got no screen. Why am I got a screen? Could be bad. Is my screen died? That wouldn't be quite so good. Oh, my screen's gone off. That's not good. Hang on, let me turn it off, turn it back on. <laughs> on the dark mode. Oh no, it's back on now. That was weird. Did my screen go off? That was strange.
That was odd. Right, Gunner's Evan then. Thought we were in trouble then. Yeah, reboot. I notice when there's no signal, the screen the screen does go completely black. Um, let's have a look in. Gunner's Evan. It'd have to be the Japanese one. I saw this when it came out. Dragon Spirit would be quite good. I'd have to plug the PC one in if I was going to play the arcade one. Yeah, it's a missed term, it's the PlayStation one. Right, so I need quite a few buttons then. So I need shot. Ah, right, okay, shot, jump. Um, what is that? Gunlock. This is where playing on a an arcade stick becomes a little bit of an issue. It's the gunlock. I need the gunlock a lot. So I'm going to have to put that there. I have to put the wire there. Hang on. So shot, jump. Uh, bomb's going to have to go there. I have no idea what that is. Wire's going to have to go there. What the hell is that? I might just have to play around just till I find the right setup. That switch weapon, maybe? Switch weapon. Oh, I need to... Yeah... Playing with the lock is a little bit of an issue. Hang on, so jump that. Um, that could be bomb. That could be switch weapon. That's going to have to be wire. That's going to have to be lock. Need a pad, really. Let's see what happens. Get the net! Yeah, I could play it on the PC I've got plugged in, yeah? Or oh, the PC Engine version, of course. Right, okay. Got good music in this game as well. Right, okay. Right, so that's gun lock, I need that. Right, that is switch weapon. That's bomb. I see it's one of those one of those games that was designed for a pad really, wasn't it? I wonder why they changed the name of it. Ah. Yeah, I think I need to play this on the pad, really. There's, there's a lot of buttons. You'll probably get used to it. Yeah, it is sort of like Gunstar Heroes, really. It's really good this game is.
There's lots of boss battles on you as well. It is very good to heroes. Got to learn the levels as well. Okay, so there's not enough electric beams for that. Let's try again. So literally, I've got to use all the buttons. Never really. I've played Gunstar Heroes, but not much. Like, I know it is. A, it is a classic Mega Drive game, isn't it? gets tricky later on as well, there's lots of tech spins and sort of use that grapple thing a lot. Trigger buttons quite help in this game quite a bit. Dodging up particularly too well. Yeah, I used to love it as well. I haven't played it for years. This is where the grapple comes in, but I've got a, <laughs> I've got a, t I've got a pretty um, top hard kick essentially to use it. While loaded on the other ones.
you remember to tap the button fast when you get close to something. Great. So I can't remember exactly where you should stand. Time to look at Yeah, you need the trigger buttons really for holding down, uh, using the um, rope thing and holding down weapons, you can put them in any direction. Good start, eh? I remember the second level was quite a bit of a. It was quite hard to do the boss on the second level. Yeah, it's got good music. I'm going to continue just for the elevator. Yeah, the laser's pretty good. That's how you did used to love this game. I don't know why. I really don't know why they changed the name of it. I'll do rapid reload in the west. I remember to um, tap the button when you're close to someone like that. Do you do that? again. I could do with more buttons. I remember the laser, it's not super powerful for the laser, but it's Andy. I mean, it's not like super powerful. There's a shrimp level on this as well. I think it's level five. Yeah. <laughs> 
for the safe end. Yeah, it is Andy the laser. Jungle level X, if I remember rightly. Yeah. I'm struggling to carry him though. Keep making those power ups to get the extra power up. Ah. Probably not the best weapon for it. Yeah, there's a lot of learning of the bosses and the sub bosses. Need to play on the pad, really. There's also like a lot of changing weapons. That was good. I should have just gone forward. You think about the least, you can lock on to the bosses and then you can um, you can concentrate and dodge them. It's definitely worth playing. Definitely play um, play the Japanese one. I would. There's no difference between them. They are pretty much probably exactly the same. But yeah. 
Oh, I see. Yeah, the green weapons seem to kick ass on the sluggers. I remember the full the full proper boss of this area is really hard. And it took me quite a quite a few goals to do it. Jump out the way with it. Ah. Well, it's in my way again. Your life. Daisy. Uh. Oh, the chameleon. This is where it's going to get awkward. I need to use that. Very awkward doing it on a stick. left. Concentrating. It'd be quite cool to go through this game again and finish it. No hey, problems, you gotta keep collecting those power ups to keep your weapon at full power. sound in the background. Oh, that's a weapon. Well, it's gone. It's a little bit messed up, isn't it? Yeah, this boss is hard. Remember, it took me a while when I first played this to figure out how to do it. Ah! 
Ah, can't remember. I'll have to come back to that on the pad. What have I missed in chat? Did you have <laughs> It's a classic for Rod, isn't it? Leopard uh, skin uh, leggings. I've been wearing them for the last 40 years. Yeah, there, there is certain weapons for bosses. You've got to keep swapping weapons all the time. And um, I'm sure like different phases of bosses require different weapons. This is what I'm playing on the pad because you've got the... Um, basically, because you've got the, the side buttons, you know. You can basically use that to do hold the lock on and change your weapon and while you're playing with the pad. It becomes a little bit difficult on the... You set all the buttons up here, you're all over the place because you've still got to hold down fire and you've got to keep that, you got them two basically. Good game, Mom. Really good game, actually. Should I go for Hamford Park? Which way, Mega Drive game? I have played Gunstar Heroes a little bit. I'm not I'm not overly fussed on games with boss rushes all the time. Like the Alien Soldier one, it's basically just a boss rush game, isn't it? I I've only ever briefly played it. Which way Mega Drive game? Yeah, oh, that game you're on about. That is, um, oh, what's that game called? I know what you mean. It's like Gunstar Heroes, but it's just, a, it's literally just a boss rush game, and you got uh, like a bird type character, haven't you? Um, oh, what's it called? Alien Soldier. I think. I'm not. I think this game looks beautiful. But I'm not overly fussed on it. I know everyone thinks this is a classic. Yeah, Alien Soldier. I've only briefly played it. It, it does look good if you watch replays here, but it's all boss rush stuff, isn't it? It is a very pretty looking game, miss. That's if I can do anything, of course. I've noticed sometimes with the... Um, Converter guy, I gotta move the stick before it like cuts off or jumps in. I don't think the music is that great in this game either. I think the first level of music's good, and I think the third or fourth level of music's good. But the rest is like, eh. pretty game off this. Yeah, that's the weapon. Really expensive this game is as well. Nice looking levels and stuff. I've only played that alien sort of briefly, like. 
I think I upset a few people when I uh, reviewed this and only gave it a 7 out of 10. <laughs> High weapon doesn't seem like that good to be honest. It does look nice on this game. It's not like a hard off shot. I think this game's like about five, six hundred quid though. expensive PlayStation game. Thunderfall 6 is really nice. I like that game as well. Have I, I played that on stream? I might have played it on stream. It does look amazing on a CRT. It, it is a really pretty game. It's just... It's a shame it's a little bit boring. And the music is not as good as the first level. I think level 4 has got good music and... Level, the first level has the rest of the music's like me. But it, it is it is a, a well drawn, very pretty game. is okay is it this five minutes not bad but it's alright when it's full power you got the beam as well which is not sure I think it's just better off with the first firing those games I didn't know about at the time when they came out. I probably would have picked this up at the time. I see pictures there, I would have got over the border. Eh? 
I've got an original Thunder Force 6. Got a Japanese copy there. Thunder Force 5 is amazing as well. Especially the PlayStation one. I know everyone says the Saturn one, but I think the PlayStation one's better. Right, that thing shuts on me. Them things following me now. I didn't get them. You're gonna bug off yet? Yeah. Or the way I did. I wouldn't mind playing through Final Fantasy Five as well. I used to really love that game. I'm the first five, the last team steal. I mean, the music is really good on the first level, and it's just like, meh, on this level. Yeah, the flying hoover up, that's okay. I can't remember what that's called, though. It's just, I don't know, I don't know what it is about this game, but it is, it is very pretty, but it's just a bit boring. <laughs> it might be that. Random evil monkey. I have no idea what the story is about in this game. I think we need to get the best enjoyment out of this game. We've got to turn the difficulty up. play that, um, was it Dio Sober Deluxe or something? Or? I think that's probably one of the most expensive PlayStation games. And it's literally just one level. It's 
Ranged weapons are way more powerful than the, um, the homing. Back up, Bean. Ruined our pandas there yet. Every game needs bell power ups. Music's still nowhere near as good as the music on the first level. Bosses with that weapon. Yeah, it does. The music, I, if I remember right, the music on this level is good. I know this game is, is loved by loads of people. in the difficulty of this game. bombs of that, that was um Frankson. Oh, 
Ich nicht warm. as well. I hacked the other one and made it into a dev unit. Should hack the fat one as well. I got one. I, I still got a hack on my memory gallery. But I can't remember what I'm doing it. That looks a bit naughty. Thunderstorms, eh? Ooh. He's coming, eh? So, go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Yeah, you know, I was on about the one you can hack so you can turn your machine into a dev unit. So then you can use, um, you can use basically CDs from all around the world. So you can play all region games. I've got a hard drive in it anyway, I've got an SSD in it, but. The one I left out. I hacked the one. I should I should do that one just so I can I can play the, all the discs. That one's actually got a, a decent uh, DVD driver in it as well. Do you mean by the music in this game? Starts off good, but then it's just meh. I'm not sure I've actually finished this game. I don't know if I have. I think I usually get bored before I uh, get to the end. Got him. 
to join foot. Gulliver from Gulliver's Travels, maybe? Oh, you bastard. Low power again, no grin. Yes, factory looking. I'm not sure how many levels are actually on this game. Does it? Let's go, mate, right? What's going on in here? 
I, I don't like it as much as Prodius. I do find this game boring. I, I don't know why. Like, it looks lovely. I just don't like it that much. Yeah, the difficulty does need to go up. It does make it a little bit more exciting when you turn it up a bit. I don't think I've, I've ever finished a you get bored before the end of it, do you know? I know you like this game a lot, don't you? Yeah, it is, it is better on the higher difficulties. I was saying that earlier. I'm going anyway, but right? Yeah, a lot of people do like this game a lot. Oh, what was it? What was it like after? Any good? I was Chesney. Was he fantastic in uh, real life? Have gone down a bit. Okay. 
I do the job. I meant to do a bomb then instead of Rami. It was expensive, is it? Shit, that's a lot, isn't it? I suppose, what, 50 quid to get in as well, wasn't it? That is pricey. Was it worth it though? I sounds horrifying. Yeah, you expect food to be uh, expensive in these places. I don't know if I want a dark cotton uh, strip gram. It could scar me for life. Thank <laughs> I had to walk on you. That's not too bad. You introduced your park or one you? But I'll take you. Oh, that, then again, thinking about it. What's that about? 50 minutes, I guess, to an hour to walk on? That's not so good. I forgot you go walk up that long road as well, haven't you? So it is actually a fair distance. Yeah. What's that, about an hour maybe? それと同時に私は私の恋が永遠に実らざるものとなったことを知ったのだった。その頃から徐々に私の心が私のものとなった感じました。I walked on from Cardiff once. A long time ago. That took a while. この日記はお土産に持って帰ろう。I went right in the middle of Cardiff, but I was uh, down about halfway. そうね。Over the mountain and down about halfway. I'm sure that took me about, <laughs> I'm sure that was about like two and a half hours, something like that, maybe longer. Yeah. At least, at least I suppose an hour is not too bad. It's not good, but could be worse. Could have been walking on the bed. That could have been <laughs> far worse. I think that is the first time I've actually finished this. It's one o'clock. Here we are. That was a long time. Jeez, it's not about an hour. They probably are. That, that I'm not sure where Summerton is, but it's probably quite far. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not too difficult this game, but like I said, it's like Dazzle said, you you gotta you gotta check it to get it up really to make it a bit more exciting. Cauldra, is it? Jesus. That is a long walk. What's the, what, what the hell is that? That's about... That's not far from Cauldra. That is a long walk. It is hard to stay awake. Leska and Lemon's performance has been changed. It's a couple of hours, isn't it? If you're walking that far. He 
he's updated um, okay. Bats again. Uh, no, Bats again, but he uh, Bat Rider again. No, it's a proper beater. Yeah, they're not going to be happy to do that walk. Yeah, it's the one I said earlier. It's a proper beta now, so... Or beta one. No worries, buddy. Cheers for hanging around. And you, mate. Excellent. You've cleared all scenes without using the continue mode. Oh, so it is easy level. I mean, look what have we got? So it defaults you to be easy then. Yeah, it does run well. Um, should I play something else on you? Hydro Thunder, that was a cool game. Used to like that. What's in the Jellico collection? Maybe. Does this work? That's the question. Don't look like it. Hmm. Must be a dodgy image. I know something's happening. That was it. It's happened earlier. PlayStation Core just give me a black screen. Let's try again. Should wipe the unstable one off you as well. My menus has gone as well, have you noticed? Might have to reset again now. I'll move your cows on playing. Yep, I will. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I, I don't know why I put it on. And normally you get the PlayStation menu, don't you? The boot screen. But, um,. It seems to have gone. It still works. Just for some reason, there's no boot screen. And I'm not entirely sure why. I haven't changed anything. It's just all of a sudden just not working. I haven't put any, uh, I haven't put any of the miscellaneous stuff on. See, aspiration, nothing. There's nothing... So I don't know why all of a sudden I ain't got the boot screen again. When I used, when I, it was working. Maybe it's the auto thing, I don't know. Anyway, Jellico collection. It still works though. I just can't see my uh, memory cards or anything. It's weird because it was working fine, like. Right, what's actually on this game? Right, okay. All the games then. That's a weird game, I was. City connection, yeah. Don't like the wobble back and forth, it's really annoying. Nice. 
Yeah, so they're older games. Experion, is it? That's what it's called. Oh, this is the bloody. Um, why would they give it the NES version? Why would they give it the NES version, not the arcade version? It's weird this game, it's got a weird sort of like floaty feel to it. Fast firing was uh Yeah, it's got a weird flute to it. Can you let go, it carries on going. If I let go now. I don't know why they would give you the NES version. Do we? Jumping flesh. Should we make this game? I think this one's jumping flash. Have a look. Too short. But you can't change any other mode than that. Right, so I'm gonna have to use it that way. Be sure. White screen will work on this. Uh, white screen. Ooh, he's added more stuff. I didn't realize he's added more stuff to the actual. Let's start the game up and have a look at where that works. White screen hack works properly. Used to work, I'm sure you worked on this before. Yeah, it does. That's mad. Um, aspect ratio, giver in, uh, white screen hack, texture filter in. What was the other one you could put on for extra frame rate? Come on! the cash I think it was. It's quite interesting he added those extra bits to the white screen.
Maybe she's come back on that one. The music in this game is really good. Um, I should try this in Emily, really. A duck station, and um, so good you can go to look at 4K. Ready? I'll catch you around. No worries, mate. Take it easy. Right, music should come back in now. Ready to go? Actually, that's going to look a bit weird on screen. Actually, I'm going to put take the white screen off. Still gonna look a bit weird. Really good fun. All right. One second, let me move it. Move the screen across a bit now. See it properly now. Boss time, I think. That's that way. Okay. So fast you can blast through this game. I don't know what's going on with the third one. The third one is really weird. One of these makes me look. I can look up and down. Right, it's that one. Sense of height this game. Wait, that's the exit. Uh... 
this four normally in each world. The exit was over yet. All right. Nice. Six levels on this game altogether, so three levels each. Turn around fast as well. Um, okay, that's down there. Okay. one basically Time again now.
All right. This game would be a little bit easier on the pad, but I'm not complaining. Remake this with twin sticks would be good. Some special weapons. Is this seen one carrot? on a lower level. Oh, on the stage. Where the hell is the next... Uh, No worries, buddy. Thanks for hanging around. I'm just going to play for this, I think, and then I'm going to go to bed. Thanks for hanging around, buddy. I know it's getting late, really, isn't it? Do, do, do. 
I tell you, exactly made some really cool games. I still wouldn't mind finishing Geograph Seal on the uh, Sharp X68000. In the perfect place for the exit as well. forearm. By the original series again. Ready to go? Right, jump button then. Slide off the edge. I start up. Ace physics, man. Make me. I haven't actually looked up here, but I'm sure there's one up here. Uh, 
Um, need the exit though. Sure, that was over here. There we go, that. jumps got it all right all right <laughs> I need to pick up two more sub weapons as well It's like a sequel to Geograph Seal in some ways. life. <laughs> Bosses in this time. Ready to go? Terrible. Won't die. Ooh, that was like it. Oh, 
died. Six more, well, four more levels and two bosses to go. Ready to go? It can be a little tricky sometimes to find everything. High now, Jesus. Really high. We can have it. Gotta go find that exit again, then. I can do another um, jump and flash game. Yeah. 
I like the music in this game, it's cool. It's a dodgy, dodgy. Right, okay, is there anything up there? Where the blue bit is on the map is where the exit is. Maybe I'm wrong. Must be wrong. Okay, it's not that way. Time as well. I'll go back over there. Where the hell is the exit? One was right back at the beginning. Extra life in there, then. Oh well. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Right in the middle of my... <laughs> oh boss, we go this time. Oh, 
run, come on. Alright. Space levels, thanks. Last set of levels. How long has it taken me so far? Not bad, I thought it might take an hour. Six one. Don't think I can get over there from there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God, I need to eat. That was new curtains, then. Right, okay. Yeah. Gonna have to go wrong for that, I think. about Free time. No problem free time. It can be a little bit hard sometimes to see <laughs> if there's glass or something on these things. Bad run round actually. Get the weapon. All right. I 
my charger. <laughs> Got him. You only damage my base slightly. Prepare yourself, Robert. Now my minions are Robert. really ready for you. I, Baron Aloha, am invincible! You ain't done yet, Baloodlin. That's it, basically. Jumping That's the back. ones you see. Well, one left clear. Got the extra game in, and the super game, which I think just makes it harder. I think. Just try it and see what happens. So it just gives it harder versions. Ready to go? Let's go back through it again. So, is it got save states? Can I save save slot? Nice. Well, guys, I'm gonna call it a night because it's pretty much two o'clock in the morning. Time to go, I think. Well, cheers for hanging around. Cheers for uh, watching the replay. It's been fun. Da, 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 da. I would like to see uh, either a remake or uh, a new Jumping Flash game. I don't think exact exists anymore, though. I think they're pretty much dead. I'll have to look at it. I might look at it up in a minute. But I think exact uh, pretty much gone, unless they were absorbed by some other company, I don't know. Anyway guys, cheers for that. I'll uh, probably catch you tomorrow now, I expect. So, good night. Catch you around.